Hello, I'm Cosmic Dr. Lamacorn. I'm here visiting you from the outer reaches of the galaxy of... And I've come because you deserve a medical exam that's as magical as you are. That's pretty magical. Now, if I may have your permission, I'd really like to boop your snoot. May I? Thank you. There'll be more of that later. Now, I'd like to begin by taking a quick look at your eyes and what they can do. All right? So, do you see these letters? Can you read them off to me? <laughs> All right, let's give it a go. What's that one? All right, this one, this one, this one. Let's go to the next slide. What's this one? <laughs> Didn't expect me to go to the middle, did you? <laughs> I'm full of surprises. This one, this one, this one. This one. Very good. You're doing so well. Time for another boop, my friend. <laughs> Double boop. <laughs> no, no. Thank you. This is an otoscope. I'd like to use it to examine your ears, if I may. I'll start on this side, then I'll go to that side. You're about to feel the otoscope entering your ear, friend. Once again, here comes the otoscope. This is a pen light. I'd like to use it to examine your eyes, if I may. I'm going to be shining it into your eyes. It'll be a little bit bright. Best as you can, try to keep your eyes open and looking right at my snoot, okay? Bring the light in. Good. Keep looking right here. Beautiful. Now, this time, when I move the light 
I'd like you to look at the light and follow it with your eyes. Wow, that was wonderful. I'd be hard-pressed to find anyone who could do better than that, even in... Let's take a quick break for a comforting drink. You can have whatever you'd like. I like peppermint tea. Hmm, so good. I think you're ready for the last part. This technique that I'm about to use is only for those who are very, very brave of heart, like you, my friend. If you're quite ready, a barrage of boops. If you enjoyed your exam half as much as I did, you're having a really good day. I've got to go, but I want to remind you that you can summon me back for an exam anytime you like. As a reminder, you, you my friend, you deserve a medical exam that's just as magical as you are. And that's pretty magical. Anytime you want to bring me back, just remember, the power to do so has been there, in your heart, all along. Thanks again, and I hope I'll see you again soon. Hey y'all, it's JB, and I'm going to ask you a question that you've probably been asked like a thousand times before, but I'm going to ask again. Have you ever been nibbled upon? by a fuzzy owl. No, that's not a euphemism. It's a very serious question. Have you ever been nibbled upon by a fuzzy owl? Well, um, either way, you are in luck because my friend right here would like to help you out with that, wouldn't you? All right, so what we're gonna do is... Okay, so he, um... Yeah, okay. No, I'll ask. Um, he wants to know if he has your permission to nibble upon you. Okay, great. So, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, he's super excited. So, um, okay, okay, come down. You're gonna freak him out. Stop. Okay, so what we're gonna do, real simple, we're just gonna spend a little bit of time, uh, letting my friend here nibble on you, okay? So, uh, I think we're gonna start right here with your cheek, over here, so we're gonna go. Alright. Alright, okay. How was that? Oh, he says you're delicious. Okay, so now we're gonna do the other cheek, just right over here. So next, I think we're going to do your forehead. Okay, there's more. Don't, don't fill up. We're going out to dinner after this, okay? I don't want you to spoil your appetite. So next, um, we're going to move back uh, towards your neck, right here on this side, okay? So we're going to go. Okay. Uh, a 
other side now. How you doing? Okay, and how are you doing? Okay, great. So, okay, you can stop clapping now. Um, is there, were there any other spots that you wanted to get? Oh, uh, where else? I thought we had everything covered. No one? Okay. Okay, yeah, no, that makes sense. So, uh, next he would like to get the back of your neck, if that's okay. Right? Yeah. Do you want me to go back there with you? You can go back there by yourself. You're a grown owl. Okay, he wants me to go with him. So we're gonna go around back and he's gonna nibble on the back of your neck a little bit, okay? for me. I know it was really nice for you. I hope it was enjoyable for you as well. Um, we have to get going. Uh, we <laughs> we go out once a week. We get the, the bottomless chips at Chili's. It's, I know, I'm really excited too. Yeah. So we're gonna go do that. I hope you enjoyed yourself and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Okay. Hey, it is so good to have you here. I look forward to our book club meetings all month, and I just want to say I'm so glad that we decided to go ahead and do the book club, even though it's just the two of us. I've been really enjoying this one-on-one -on -one time with you. It's really been wonderful. Um, so I think we're all set up. Are you comfortable? Okay, great. Um, yeah, you have your tea. I have my tea. I have my book. You have your book. And, wow, that's... Is that your copy? Um, that is... That looks really different than the one that I picked up. It must be a different edition. Can I... Is it okay if I look at it? Okay. So, you got... The Evening and the Morning by Kim Follett. Huh. Um, you know what? <sighs> so, this is, this is embarrassing, but, um, I must have read something wrong, uh, I don't know if there was, like, one little letter transposed or or something when I was looking at the title, but th this, um, this is not what I read this month. I'm, uh, here, let me get this back. So, the book that I read this month was, uh, right here, it's Clinical Neuroanatomy and Neuroscience, 5th edition. Um, I don't. I don't know how that happened. Um, you know what? So many of our texts back and forth over the past month make so much more sense now. Um, I mean, you kept talking about like what an exciting adventure and layers to the story. And like, I, I agree. I mean, this was 
really a gripping read, but some of the things you were talking about didn't. Um, hmm. Okay, so we're in a little bit of a pickle here. Um, I guess, since you read that book clearly and I read a completely different book, that changes what we're going to be able to do during our book club meeting today. Oh, I had so many good questions planned out. Uh, there are a couple discussion topics that I thought we were really going to dig into. And, you know, I, I had even just, um, you know, I felt pretty confident about everything I read uh, and, you know, really understanding it. Uh, so I'd even grabbed some supplies. I thought that maybe, you know, we could just do a little casual, friendly brain surgery. I thought I could just maybe open up your skull. No, no, that's, that's ridiculous. I'm totally kidding. Unless, would that, would that be something you, like, might be into? Because I, like, no pressure or anything. I'm obviously not a professional. I did read the whole book, every page. Um, but I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty good about uh, my comprehension of everything I read, so... If you're cool with it, I would, I would so, so, so love if I could just, you know, maybe take the lid off there and poke around a little bit. Would that be okay? Oh my god, okay. Alright, super exciting. So you really don't need to do anything. Um, let me make sure I have everything I need here. You just sit back, um... Maybe don't try, try not to move too much. Uh, I have, let's see, I've got my, my tea right here. I've got the book. Um, I'll make sure that I'm referencing stuff without, uh, throughout the whole thing so that I'm not, so I'm totally sure about everything I'm doing. See, so I've got some gloves on hand. I've got, um, I have an extra mug here um in case we need to like store any pieces while i'm working on it let's up uh, let's just dive let's just dive right in it's the best way right let's not drag this out too far so if i'm remembering correctly okay so before i really get in there um I think the best thing to do, yeah, yeah, okay, so I think the best thing to do is going to be for me to give you like a little scalp massage, um, let's see how we doing on time, oh yeah, yeah, I think we have plenty of time to do a, a nice little scalp massage before the, uh, before the actual surgery itself, um, so if it's alright with you, I'm just gonna go ahead and place my hand on your scalp, both sides, and just kind of gently, there we go, yeah, kind of starting at the temples right there, there we go, let me move my stuff so I can get nice and close, this here, okay, there we go, okay, so I'm just gonna do little gentle massage that way when I go to get in there the top will just you know pop off nice and easy okay actually is it okay if I go around and like get behind you to do this part okay cool just hang in there and I'm going to Gonna get my fingers right in there and just massage the whole scalp. Starting over here.
and you can just relax, feel all the little muscles in your scalp, relaxing beneath my fingers. I'd like you to sit really still for this part. I'm going to go ahead and just pop the lid there, and I'll make sure I'll place it uh, safely right over there. So, uh, I locked the cat out of the room, so I don't know if you heard that scratching earlier. But yeah, you don't have to worry about her getting at it. start just by um, taking a little look around. Oh, wow. This is really cool in here. Hold on.
Here's what I'm thinking. There's a lot going on in there, and I think I know you well enough to know that if you could, there are maybe some things you might change about your brain or how it works. Um, but, gosh, over these last few book club meetings, I've just gotten to know you so well, and I am just such a big fan of your brain and how it works. I think that you are so intelligent and interesting. I love your sense of humor. Um, my concern is that if I like remove anything permanently or if I alter anything, I'm just afraid that that might in turn impact how other parts of your brain work and I just, I just like you so much just the way you are. Um, so I mean that's not like totally off the table, some like actual alterations maybe someday, but for today, uh, maybe we can just kind of give your brain a little bit of a bath. Yeah, a bath. So I'll take this spare mug, I'm gonna put a little warm water in it, and then I can just bit by bit maybe remove some pieces of your brain, um, put them in the mug to soak so that they can be sort of refreshed and clean, um, bring a little, I don't know, a little more oomph to those, to those little brain chunks, yeah? Yeah, so I'll, I'll let them soak for a little while. Uh, at the end of the session, I'll go ahead and put them all back in, uh, screw the lid back on, and and yeah, I think I that's really all I'd like to do. Is that okay? Okay, perfect. So um, let me think here. Ooh, I have that and. It's really hot, but it's good. Just like me. <laughs> okay. Um, so I am going to grab some warm water that I have. I'm going to add it to the mug. Um, I have some gloves. I thought that might be a good idea. So I'm going to put the gloves on, and I'm just going to get right in there. Okay? Cool. All right. You're such a good friend. So, let's see. We got... Here we go. I think that's about the right amount. I don't want to fill it up too much, because then I don't want to, you know, with displacement. And I'm not actually sure how much... We'll figure it out. We'll wing it. It's cool. So let me go ahead and get these gloves on. So sad you didn't read this. There's this whole thing about um, sort of action potentials and the way that a uh, message. Maybe you can read it next month. We'll see. 
Uh, let's see. Let's start, I took notes, <laughs> let's start here, um, let's just go ahead and dive right in with the uh, frontal lobe, so that's right in here, and uh, I'm gonna start kind of on the outside and work my way in, if I can just reach right in there, and there we go. Oh. Hmm. So, yeah. So I think I'm just gonna kind of pluck out a couple little pieces, um, drop them in the bath, and then we'll move on to the next things so I'm gonna... So much cool stuff going on on the frontal lobe. Let's see, I've got my notes here. We've got, um, motor control. Problem solving, uh, speech production, some focus area. Yeah, so speech production specifically, uh, there are actually different parts of the brain. One part is for speech production, you know, talking, and then there's a whole other part that's for recognizing speech. I thought that was really interesting how. There are all these things that we think of as sort of like going together, like understanding and communicating in language that are actually um, sort of operated or run by completely different parts of the brain. Very cool. Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna get this and this piece right here. Okay. Yeah. Let's start. Whoop. Splash minute was. Um, I'm sure that's. I'm sure that's fine. Let's see. What do I want next? Let's get my absolute favorite part of the brain is the um, ventromedial prefrontal cortex right here. It's uh, here. I'm gonna get right in there. So this is actually the part of the brain where uh, I believe the sense of self is mostly located. I'm doing some extra credit work because <laughs> I finished the book early. And I was reading this really interesting article about people with brain injuries, which is awful, of course, but it's also interesting to see how people with brain injuries in specific areas that can help us to learn um, like what those parts of the brain do. Like with people who have damage to the ventromedial prefrontal cortex, they can kind of not have a really strong sense of self. I believe that is also the part of the brain that is partially affected by um, like psychedelic experiences and stuff like that. I don't know. I read so many different articles at this point on top of the book. I don't want to mix it all up. going to leave the brain stem and cerebellum alone, uh, but let's just go ahead and, okay, let's do the uh, temporal lobes next. I'm going to start on the left side, if I can just get right in here. Temporal lobe, There's lots of stuff. Auditory processing, language comprehension, yeah, yeah, there are actually some people who, because of, you know, just different stuff going on with their brain, there are actually some people who can, um, they can understand language, uh, but they can't speak it, so they might be able to understand what you're saying to them, but they can't communicate back with you. I thought that was really interesting. And that's Okay. Good. That's 
something I think they've actually found with some autistic people, sometimes like with kids. If they can't speak, uh, communicate in verbal language, people tend to assume that that person also can't understand verbal language, but that is sometimes not the case. Let's see. Oh, gummy bears. Just need a snack. Mm. Do you want one? I have like a whole bowl of them right here. No? No, it's probably better if you're not chewing right now anyway. Mm. Let's see. Okay. So... Let's go ahead and get this side. An interesting looking piece right there. And right here. Oh. This one's kind of shaped like an MTV logo. Do you want to see? No, you know, it's probably better if you don't look at it. Cool though. I think that I'm going to have a much better angle if I go ahead and do this from the side. Is that okay? All right, just getting in the temporal lobe on this side. And let's check out this side as well. Awesome. here and over here all right so sorry I keep splashing myself um, how are we doing on time good we're doing just fine so Let's see. Let me check my notes. What else did I want to do here? Hmm. I think... Yeah. I think I might want to do a repeat of the same areas. Go back in with the frontal lobe. Maybe a little more from each of the temporal lobes. Um, So, I'm going to go right back in to that frontal lobe. I'm sorry, I don't mean to talk about it like that. You are, you are so much more than just a, a frontal lobe to me. Um, I'm just really enchanted by what you've got going on here. And if I can... All right. Um, oh, wow. Here. Cool. Let's see. Okay. And there's this kind of stubborn piece right here. Just wanna get good. Alright, I got it. Oh, they're having such a nice little bath in here. Okay, what else? Hmm. Let's get one more piece each from each of the temporal lobes and then we'll figure it out from there. So I'm gonna get right in here. Uh -huh. 
How you doing? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna get right in here and pull that. Cool. And then I know I definitely wanted to get into that occipital lobe for sure, but. Let me check something in my book real quick. Got all these notes. I'm so sorry. Um, it's fine. I think that's fine. It's just, um, oh, it says right here in the notes that's, that, that that is a thing that we can pretend did not happen. So let's go ahead and, um, and you know what? There is, where's the section that has the, um, there's something I want to do in the temporal lobe real quick. Okay. Good. Okay. Yeah. No, that I think I just there was just a little memory there that I wanted to. What is that, by the way? What is that thing over there? Okay. So. Hmm. Hmm. Just another gummy bear. Um. I think I'm gonna sneak around back real quick. Uh, I'm gonna just pluck a few things out of the occipital lobe there. Have you been looking forward to that? I know I have. And then, um, and then I'll put everything back after that's had a minute to soak and, and we'll, we'll wrap things up. All right. What was on my wish list for the occipital lobe? Oh yeah, this part right here. All right. I know I definitely want this piece right here. And this piece too. Okay, how about this one? Let's see if I can get in real carefully and grab this piece here. Okay, good. And how about... Yeah, I wanted this one for sure. Okay, and this piece. Good. Okay, so... Was super fun. Thank you. Um, what I'd like to do next, I'd like to go ahead and um, drain the water out of this mug. I'll go ahead and just pop little pieces back in there. Um, let me... You know what? I am gonna make sure that I have a strainer before I drain. I don't want to lose anything down the sink. Um, so I'll be right back. Hang in there. All right, nice and easy here. Get back here. There we go. All right, well, 
thank you so much for waiting. I've got all of your freshly bathed little brain bits in here, and they look so good. Do you want to see? Oh, you, you probably shouldn't look at them, but just trust me, they look just fresh and sparkling and absolutely fantastic, just like you, my friend. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and carefully place them back exactly where I found each of them, because once again, I just, I like you so much, just the way you are, and I want to make sure I don't, you know, mess anything up in there. Okay, so just hang in there, and I'm going to, maybe I should have taken notes. Nah, it's alright, I think I got it, so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of rapid fire here, just. Okay, and, does that feel okay? Alright, get right in here. And, side here. Okay, so we got one here, and here, over here, one here, and what else? Oh, this is definitely one of my favorite parts of your brain right here. I want to make sure I get that one in nice and... Oh, come here, little buddy. I'm just going to tuck you in right here. Okay. Okay, and one more. Right here. Okay. Well, that looks perfect. I'm going to go ahead and put the top back on, okay? So hold still. Just got to make sure I line it up here. There we go. All right. Well, that was super fun for me. How was it for you? You know, I, I'd honestly be down to do this anytime with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, what do you say we, uh, just go ahead and wrap up this meeting of the book club and we can talk about what we want to do next month. I don't know if I can read that book, and you can read this book, and maybe you can probably, I don't know if I'd be comfortable, but it's, um, but thank you so much. I really treasure our time together, and I'm so grateful for the opportunity to really get in there and poke around in that brain of yours, so thank you, and I am so looking forward to the next time we hang out. Listen, just because, to the best of our knowledge, you are the only other person left on Earth, that does not mean that I am going to just examine your ears so you can stop asking. I mean it. How many times have you been asked me now? Do you have no self-respect? I said no. Like, a hundred times, okay? Maybe more. Look, okay, maybe if you just understood. Back before all this happened, examining ears was the greatest joy in my life. It was my happy place. When I was close up to someone's ear with my otoscope inserted into their ear canal and I was looking at their tympanic membrane. 
You wouldn't think it, but everyone's tympanic membrane is a little bit different. They're all special. And they can tell you something about a person, and I was good at it. It was my happy place. It meant everything to me, and now... Look, examining ears was probably the greatest source of joy I had in life back then. And that is not an experience that I want to share with someone who thinks absolutely nothing of eating the entire last can of beans without sharing any. It's not funny, it's messed up. I, I don't know, I just, it's not that I'm trying to punish you, well maybe I, I am trying to punish you, but um, I guess I'm realizing after telling you all that, that I'm kind of punishing myself too. Um, so. Maybe, 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 if, um, if you just sit there and don't say anything, uh, don't say anything to remind me of, uh, your terrible betrayal, um, if you so much as mention beans, I'm out of here. Okay, you just, you just hang out there, um, and I guess, if you want me to examine your ears, I'll do it, like, a little bit. Okay, but if it, if it doesn't feel good, if I, if I start doing it and it's too upsetting, I'm gonna stop, okay? No promises. Does that sound okay to you? Feel the tip of my otoscope entering your ear, right here. Don't freak out or anything, I'm going to be really gentle. Okay, so, um, here we go. I guess, I guess I might as well do the other one too. Okay. Okay, so, same thing I guess. Uh, you're just gonna, you're 
gonna feel a little scope entering your ear and the side. I'm just gonna just gonna go ahead and do it. So here we go. scope now. So there were like a lot of um, memories and feelings flooding back during that and uh, it's obviously been a long time since I've uh, been in an ear canal and as I was going through the process on that year I remembered all these things that I usually do that I totally forgot I screwed up, I screwed up. Um, but that, I know I said I was just gonna do it for a little while, and this is for me. This is not for you. Um, but just because I remembered some stuff that I would normally do, and because this is for me, and for my joy, um, because we all know what brings you joy, and that's uh, the last can of beans. So I'm going to take this and head over to, th to this ear, and um, I'm just going to do a more thorough job, okay? Is that alright? Alright. Alright, so once again, uh, this part's the same. I'm going to go ahead and
telescope. It's, it's gonna bother me if you're not even, so I'm just gonna... Just gonna... Okay. Alright, so... I guess you know the drill at this point. You're gonna feel that little scope. Just, you know, right here. Go ahead and remove the otoscope. All right, that felt pretty good. Can I do it like one more time? Okay, it's for me, not for you. All right, so here we go. Wow.
side. I had no idea how much I needed that. Wow. How was it for you? Was it alright? I mean, um... No, I think... I think we should stop there. Um, no, I didn't. I checked it pretty thoroughly and there's... You want me to check behind your ear? Okay, let me, uh, put this down. I don't need this for that. Let me, um... What is that? Okay. It's, it looks like a... Crumpled up piece of paper? How long has this been back there? There's a note in it. This is why you wanted me to check your ears. <laughs> okay. Um, well, we'll see what it says. Um, Happy birthday. I, I didn't even know that you knew. Happy birthday. Let's go to the bunker and have some cake that I made for you. <laughs> wow, I... So that's what you've been doing in the bunker all this time. Cake? How did you, what did you even use to make? Oh. Oh. I'm so sorry. You could have told me. I mean, I love to be expressed, but I thought. Wow. That's actually my favorite type of cake, too. All right. Okay. Let's, um. 
let's start over, okay? Um, let's go ahead and head to the bunker and have some delicious cake. And then, um, I don't know, maybe you can examine my ears or something. <laughs> this is like the best day of my life. <laughs> Thank you.